Peace, infinite waters diving deep once again. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. We are out here. We're in nature in California. Beautiful day. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Why guys show interest then leave? Not, what are those? No, 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 no. It's more like, where did he go? Where did he go? Like, where did he go? Nobody knows. And we ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> we got a beautiful question in from a beautiful lady who said she went on a date with a guy. He was really, really, really polite, friendly, good-hearted he was even laughing while they were eating she thought the date was going great in her mind and then the next day poof huh he just vanished like just vanished he didn't reply to her texts to her phone call so it left her really really confused and she wants to know why guys show interest, then leave. You got a question? If it's crazy enough, we just may answer it. RalphSmart.com, Instagram us at Infinite Waters. Okay, ladies, we have about 50% ladies who dive into Infinite Waters. So half. That's a lot. As a psychologist, as a counsellor, but more so as someone who loves the cat down the road, I'm going to give you a little insight into the psychology of guys. Why guys show interest, then leave. Here's why. Ladies, the relationship a guy has to others is a mirror reflection of the relationship the guy has towards himself. Mm. Slow motion that side. Mm. It's that simple. How a guy is treating you if he's not replying to your text messages when you are the one who paid for the entire meal? That's just darn right cheeky, rude, and disrespectful. But you see, that's how he treats himself. Now, a lot of guys love the chase. They want to see if they can really get that girl. It's more of an experiment. But they don't know what to do with a the catch. They're like, okay, what do I do now? A lot of guys think they know what they're getting into. Now, they've met your parents <gasps> and they've met your brother who looks like The Rock and it's freaking them out. They now feel intimidated and they don't know how to communicate because, you see, one of the secrets of a great relationship is communication. So when you have a communication breakdown, then the guy is just going to leave without saying anything. Why? Because you've got a communication breakdown. And that is why, ladies, if you are dating someone, get more intimate with them by asking them the big questions. Like, what happened to you at five years old? You've got to open the guy up. The more intimate you can get with someone, the more real they are going to become to you. Otherwise, they'll just feel like, well, we haven't been intimate in any way. You didn't ask me what happened to me at five years old. So I just left. A lot of people are, they have emotional immaturity. A lot of guys have emotional immaturity, which means that they just are immature. 
they don't want responsibility of having commitment a lot of guys are afraid of commitment because they think they actually know what they're getting into until they start meeting your whole family your friend that can't stop talking and yes your brother that looks like the rock so they just leave but once again it's not something that you have to take personally ladies listen to me if someone doesn't have the courtesy doesn't show the courtesy doesn't show the respect doesn't show the appreciation for you paying for an entire meal and just scooting off then they are actually doing you a favor they are actually showing you like 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 look look you don't want to be a, around a guy like me who's not even going to reply to your text message who's not even going to call you back so they are actually doing you a favor and that is why they just leave because they don't want to make it hard for you they want to give you the clear signs like hey you probably don't want to be around me now a lot of guys also can't make up their mind in essence they're so caught up like they're probably already in a relationship you're the side the side chick or maybe they have a lot of choice too much choice and that's why it's difficult so they're not really sure if they're ready to be with you but ladies you've got to realize your worth your value and to say that hey that's fine let him go because there's going to be a guy who's going to want to be around you and you're going to want to be around them and you don't have to be begging for someone to give you attention but you see a lot of guys know subconsciously a lot of women love that kind of irresponsible behavior <gasps> why didn't he call me back why didn't he message me back and then you've got another guy who's doing all of that and you're like i'm just not interested ladies i'm i've got a video for you called why you love guys who ignore you It'll, we'll probably put it out soon right spoiler alert now <laughs> why guys show interest and then leave you see many times guys are attracted to the surface of you your body your ass da 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 but you see they think that's what they want but it's not you see that's not what any of us actually want we want a deeper connection more so a deeper bond and a lot of the times that's why a lot of guys get a wake up call because they start to realize actually i don't really connect with this person like i thought i would and it's just not fun anymore now ladies when a guy leaves it is got nothing to do with you it's got everything to do with him not telling you why he left but once again he's doing you a favor because he is now showing you his true colors he's not even pretending he just left he just vanished that's like the biggest thank you you should give to him because he just put it out there like bye you got to know your worth you got to realize what you are worthy of why are so many guys afraid of commitment because with commitment means there is a whole lot of responsibility a lot of guys you have some great guys out there guys which will text message you back and call you back but the ones that leave they were only there 
for the fun. They were only there for the fireworks. They were only there to eat the meal and then scoot off in a dash. And some people are like that. Why? Because they've been hurt before in the past and now they have no sensitivity to other people's feelings. So to the beautiful lady who wrote in, please, 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 don't take it personally, but more so realize what that guy did is not representing the majority of guys out there. Guys, thank me right now. Okay? That was him. And every single guy is going to be totally different. Some people weren't taught manners. They weren't breastfed. None of that stuff. No, 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 no. Even some guys were breastfed and they still do that. Okay? But some people just don't have any sensitivity to other people's feelings, so they just do that. But subconsciously, a lot of guys have been hurt. And a lot of people, when you've been hurt, you think that you can just act any way you feel because you become desensitized. You become careless. You don't really show compassion to other people because people didn't show compassion towards you. Mm. Slow motion that side. Mm. So some people just go around doing that. Like they, they're with you, then they just leave. No text, no phone call. But once again, ladies, don't worry about it. Why? Because they're doing you a favor to show you that you probably don't want to go on a date with them again. Well, one, you can't find them anyway. So two, it's just easier. Know your worth. Realize it's not personal. And realize some people aren't ready yet. They think they're ready, but they're not. So ladies, when you are with a guy before you get with him, before you go on a date, ask the big questions. Like, are you afraid of commitment? And if a guy says, <sighs> then he is. If he says, no, let's go, then he's not. And then you can actually enjoy the meal and actually speak to each other the next day. So there you have it in a nutshell. Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. We're out here. We're in nature. Getting high. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace.